Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, love reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, this is going to be for the uh, first half of your July from the 1st to 15th. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month uh, regarding uh, love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Uh, before we get started, uh, if, uh, if you guys haven't noticed yet, I turned off my uh, comment section in all my videos. Because I've been getting a lot of spam comments. And it was getting hard to filter filter them out uh, and just, you know, staying on top of it, reporting it to YouTube. So, yeah, it was just getting annoying. And I decided to turn them off for a little bit. I hope to turn them back on soon. But if you need to reach out to me um, in regards to a video, uh, you can reach out to me um, through Instagram. I do have my Instagram handle in the in the description box below. So just feel free to DM me. Uh, those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you get uh, alerts on when uh, new content is being uploaded. Um, and uh, give this video a thumbs up uh, if you like this video, if it resonated, so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear it. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, let's get started. Over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of July from the 1st to 15th. Right, Justice, Libra Energy. You might have Libra in your chart, or you're dealing with a Libra. Uh, there you are, Virgo. Uh, Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. The Two of Wands. The Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Uh, the Five of Swords. And the Six of Wands. There's some major shifts coming. Someone's about to be whacked with a huge dose of karma. Um, I'm feeling like someone here is stressed out, anxious, anxious about someone playing some mind games here, being a bit egotistical, um, you know, gaining attention by causing conflict. That's not the deck I want to use. Um, but someone's stressed out here. This could be you, Virgo, with this Page of Pentacles here. And then we have this Page of Swords this air energy so I'm feeling like this is like two young individuals that are dealing with each other it doesn't have to be it could be just you know you guys are older and you guys have this childlike energy to you guys um talking about this page of pentacles what's going on with this page of pentacles here
going on with this page of pentacles? Tell me about this page of pentacles. All right, we got the chariot, cancer energy. I feel like someone's losing their mind. <laughs> Someone's losing their mind because of this. The mind games. Gaslighting here. Um, yeah, someone's completely losing their mind. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. There's a lack of peace here. I feel like someone might be... Um, numbing whatever they're feeling here by drinking a lot. Tell me about the Two of Wands. The Two of Pentacles here. What's going on with this Page of Swords? We have the Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. What's going on with the Six of Wands? All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are, Virgo. We have a pair here. We have the Queen to the King of Pentacles. So this is a soulmate connection. You guys could have a long-term commitment here together, but it seems like there's a lot of mind games going on in this connection here. I mean, the person that could be causing this is this Queen of Pentacles. Because it feels like this... I feel like this King of Pentacles is trying to be sweet to this individual, trying to be kind, but at the same time, this person is feeling trapped by all this. Yeah, I feel like this King of Pentacles is the one that could be losing their mind. Someone here is tired of the games. Someone here is tired of the juggling or indecision here um there's just a lot of mind games here um i don't know i'm feeling like this queen has issues with money i feel like this king of pentacles has been very generous 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 with this individual uh but i feel like someone is about to get sucked dry if not if they haven't yet they, they, this King of Pentacles will get sucked dry by this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is probably after money. This Queen of Pentacles is someone that is greedy, trying to take uh, what's not theirs, take what they didn't earn um, for I mean, someone's having a hard time deciding whether to drop this or not. Someone feels very, 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 very stuck by this queen. And I feel like it's this king. Yeah, someone's completely losing their mind. All right, tell me about the person that Virgo is. So Virgo, you might be dealing with the earth sign here. Um, either it could be this queen or this king. So place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped or reversed and apply this reading to your own unique situation. This is a general reading, so it's, yeah. So it's not gonna resonate. Not all of it's gonna resonate. I hope that all of it resonates, but it's impossible for all of it to resonate. All right, tell me about the person that uh, Virgo's dealing with. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect from this person for the first half of July, from the 1st to the 15th.
You got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck here. You got the King of Wands. I wonder if this is the same King. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles right here. I'm feeling like this is the same king here. All right, we have Temperance here. Yeah, it's the same king. So this king could have earth, earth and fire in their chart. So this could be you, Virgo, or someone else. I mean, this king is ready to walk away from this. Um, you know, because this king is really struggling to find her peace uh, with this queen, but it's really not happening. Tired and disappointed, paranoid about this person because it seems like this queen is after this king's money. I mean, we have, yeah, I, I'm feeling like someone here is an opportunist and... Yeah, this queen is an opportunist and um, a very grabby individual. And I just feel like this king is losing their mind over this. It's like, there is this paranoia of what is this person after next? Because uh, this person has taken X, Y, and Z. This person could take A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um... Tell me about this King of Wands here. What's going on with this King of Wands? All right, tell me about the King of Wands here. The Two of Pentacles. So this King is in this Two of Pentacles energy. Lots of twos here it's for this king of, king of Pentacles, King of Wands, whatever. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You got the Eight of Wands. I mean, someone is ready to make a run for it. I mean, this king doesn't want to deal with this anymore. This king does not want to be stuck anymore or be controlled by this queen. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. I mean, this king is tired of this queen's all talk and no bite sort of thing. You know, all bark, no bite. Um, I mean, this queen could be in this energy of you know, promising to, you know, to find a job or something like that, to be self-sufficient. But I'm feeling like this person, you know, takes this king's money and just, you know, just splurges and, and then, and then, and then they they show off to their family, to their friends, co-workers, whatever. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles again. So this king is really disappointed in this individual. Probably disappointed letting this individual take advantage, take advantage of this king's kindness. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. I mean, someone's hurting over being stuck here. I mean, someone's ready to let this go. This king is ready to let this go. Tell me about the temperance card. Nine of cups. I mean, this king just wants happiness and peace here, but they can't find it with this person. Two of wands, stuck. Very, 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 very stuck. I mean, this wheel is not turning for this king. I mean, at this point, it's in this king's hand. Hands. I mean, 
I think this king has reached their limit with this queen. I mean, I mean, this king is yearning for stability here, and it's not happening. I feel like this king is dealing, yeah. You know how sometimes when you take on someone's stuff, you know, take on someone's burdens, which I feel is happening here, their karma becomes your karma. And I feel like this king is being whacked with it. I mean, this is not this king's karma. It's this queen's. All right, let's see what's next here. Uh, outcome and advice. Outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their love situation for the first half of July. From the 1st to the 15th. What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect here? Two of Pentacles again. We got the Two of Pentacles one, two, three, four times. This is on the bottom of the deck now. I mean, someone needs to make a decision whether they want they want to let this go or be stuck. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, have an itch. Um, we have the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Two of Swords, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, King of Wands again. I mean, this King of this King is really hurt by this. I mean, this King feels very betrayed by this individual. Um. The thing is what you can what you allow will continue. That that is what that is what's happening here. I mean, this this king is completely stuck. Two of pentacles, the devil can't can't seem to get away. Uh it seems as though Maybe this king fears being alone or feels bad for this queen of pentacles and doesn't want to leave them because then this queen won't be self-sufficient. But um, it's really not this king's problem. Tell me about this Page of Cups here. All right, tell me about this Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles again. Tell me about the Hangman. Page of Cups. I feel like this queen is very, very emotionally manipulative. I feel like they're not even aware of that. I feel like it's like auto for them. Yeah, it's a lack of awareness and consciousness. Yeah, this person just does it on auto. Um, tell me about the Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like... I feel like this king could go off and have a new beginning of their own, but... 
I feel like this king is really stuck, can't really decide whether to move on or stick around. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Tell me about this uh, King of Wands. The Death card. I do feel like this King will walk away from this, will end this. I feel like this King is going to end it with a text message. I feel like this king is beyond hurt and betrayed by this queen. I feel like this king does so much for this queen, but I feel like also this queen probably talks poorly about this king. Even this, though this king is so generous, I feel like this queen will say some nasty stuff about this king, saying that, oh... Like, this king is not nice, this king is abusive, or this king never buys me anything, or yada yada yada. But, yeah, this king is completely stuck and being taken advantage of. And, like I said, what you allow will continue. Yeah, this king is completely losing their mind over this. So, Virgo, this is your general love reading for the first half of your July from the 1st to the 15th. If this resonated, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Obviously, you can't leave a comment, but in the meantime, if you want to communicate with me in regards to this video, feel free to DM me on my uh, Instagram. Um, it is in the description box below, and if you haven't, subscribe yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks